I'm Philipp Walter, a professor of physics at the University of Vienna. My research is dedicated to study quantum phenomena with quantum light, single photons, and to exploit those quantum phenomena for photonic quantum technology with a focus on quantum computing and machine learning. I'm Roberto Zellame. I'm a research director at the National Research Council in Italy, the CNR. In particular, I work at the Institute for Photonics and Nanotechnologies. My main research activity is the development of integrated photonic devices for quantum applications, which I directly write with ultra short laser pulses. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was in Milan, in my hometown, attending the last year of high school. I had the clear feeling that the world was changing, and I was thrilled to see what would come next. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was just starting the second year of high school. At that time, I didn't know this was an important fact in the world, nor did I knew that I would become a quantum physicist. Our research breaks the wall between artificial intelligence and quantum computer technology. Modern artificial intelligence is inspired by the human brain and thus building on artificial neural networks for processing information. The challenge that our research addresses is that to extend the approaches of artificial intelligence to quantum systems. In fact, quantum systems can live in superposition of different states. And for that reason, they can process an exponentially larger amount of information. A major finding of our research was that you could develop a feasible and in my eyes, very elegant device for quantum technology that can mimic the behavior of a neuronal synapsis, the fundamental building block of neural networks. This was possible by exploiting the benefits and advantages of single photons that encode information and that are then processed by an optical circuit. And this altogether allows to provide the building block for these neural networks. We could further show that such devices allow to learn tasks. And it seems that this task can be learned quicker than just by using classic technology. So how does this research benefit the society? We would have very powerful machines that could solve complex tasks and thus help humans in taking important decisions. For example, we could have very accurate medical diagnosis by deep image processing. Or we could also save energy by optimizing industrial processes or supply chains. A very important aspect of this research is that it has been conducted on uh, integrated photonic devices, which are already miniaturized, scalable, and reconfigurable. That means that our research is not just a preliminary proof of concept in a science lab, but already has the potential to be deployed in real world devices and applications. Our development is just the beginning. Now we have to expand our knowledge by learning which tasks are most suitable and most feasible for artificial intelligence that uses quantum technology for processing data. So what keeps us awake at night is, is a side aspect of our research, which is less related to the technological aspects, which is whether adding quantumness to artificial intelligence could give us a better understanding of human consciousness. However, to study this aspect, we need to develop much more complex systems. On the technology side, we are facing scalability because right now we've just shown examples with one or two devices, how they work and that they actually can do things more efficiently than classic technology. But for real life applications, we have to deal with hundreds, if not thousands of such devices, which needs the scale up. However, I'm optimistic for the scale up because the same problem is faced by all the other quantum computer platforms. The hope for the future is that the powerful tools that we are developing will help mankind to live in greater harmony with our planet, to exploit in a more respectful way its resources, and to reduce our impact. <laughs>